Hello, I'm Norman Swan, speaking to you on March the 22nd. And the reason I'm saying March the 22nd is by the time you look at this video, things might well have moved on. In fact, they will have moved on. But here's the advice as of the moment. And as a member of the Jewish community, I really wanted to give you this advice or knowledge just before Pesach comes along because you'll all be wondering about what to do. So the epidemic of COVID-19 is moving along. And as I speak to you, the rate is doubling every two days. Hopefully by the time Pesach comes along, that will be slowing down. But we'll probably at that stage be in some kind of lockdown, which means that people should be discouraged from leaving their homes. It'll probably be that schools will be shut. That's not happening as we speak now. But I think that's going to happen because we're not succeeding in bending the curve. So what does that mean for you? Well, it's different for different age groups. So if you're over 70, particularly if you've got other problems, it really means that you've got to really watch your contact. And, you know, Jewish families, the large families, you love your grandkids, um, they, you get nachos from them, but the trouble is they can bring infection into the home. So to really stay safe for the time being, once we go into lockdown, you've really got to stay separate from the family and find other ways of communicating them. The way to think about it is imagine you're living, say, in Israel and you're talking over WhatsApp or some other kind of app to talk to your grandkids and keep contact with them. But that's the reality of it. You, over 70 years old, are at risk and you want to just stay safe. If you're younger and you've got young kids, They'll probably, um, by the time you read this, the kids will be, uh, the schools will either be shut for Easter or Pesach, and, um, and it may well be that they'll stay shut for a while. That's not going to be easy, and it's not going to be easy at Pesach, um, you know, separating families and not having large gatherings. But that's where this sort of thing spreads. It'll become clear, clearer the nearer to Pesach we, we become. But it's only by controlling this so-called spatial or social distancing and really coming down on it that we'll control this epidemic. And what we're being asked to do as a community, as a Jewish community, is to play our role in, and change our behavior to protect the common good. That's something that we as Jews know only too well and we are a community and we work together and that's what we're being asked to do. I'm not saying it's easy, it's tough. It's tough when it's uh, you know, a festival coming along like Pesach, which is so family oriented but it's the way probably just this one year we've got to do it before a vaccine comes along.